I'm Jeffrey Meyerhardt. I'm one of the gastrointestinal oncologists at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, Massachusetts. The most exciting advances that we've had in the treatment of colorectal cancer is first, that there's more drugs available. And for people with advanced disease, even 12 years ago, there was just a single drug, and if that didn't work, unfortunately, there weren't other good options for patients. There are now multiple drugs that we give in combination at different sequences that can be helpful for patients. Another important advance, of which hopefully we'll have even increasing number of advances, is that uh, we can screen people's tumor and look at certain markers, so molecular changes that happen in the tumor, and at least one is very standard now, and people are looking for others to help individualize treatment for patients. We're still a ways away to know exactly what's the perfect treatment to start with for an individual patient, but there's at least some data to say which drugs may be helpful and which may not be helpful for an individual patient. And there are a lot of drugs that are out there that are still in testing that have a lot of promise, but they need to be tested to know where they would fit, uh, if they would fit and where they would fit in the treatment of colorectal cancer. The main message that I'm trying to provide here at the uh, national meeting of the Colon Cancer Alliance is twofold. One is that there are a lot of options for patients with colorectal cancer. Uh, every patient situation is unique, so though learning about general things about uh, uh, care of the patient, it still needs to be considered that individual discussions with their oncologist is really important. Um, and to know that there's really a lot of advances and continue to be a lot of advances in the treatment of colorectal cancer, which is very encouraging.